In this demo, we'll be looking at some of the top features of the Solace event platform. What we can see here is the cloud console where we have access to our event management called the event portal. In the event portal, you're able to visualize relationships between applications. You can see schemas that are attached to events and understand how to subscribe to those events on your PubSub Plus broker. In the event portal, there is the designer view for this graphical representation of these relationships. There is a catalog which is searchable and you can find the event schemas and applications you might be looking for based off of a keyword. There is a discovery component which allows you to run a discovery scan on your broker estate and automatically populate some of these application and event objects into Portal. And Event API products. This allows you to bundle specific events together and make them available to internal and ex external consumers in a form similar to Swagger or OpenAPI. In the event streaming section, this is where you're able to create new services, messaging services. You're able to delete those services and manage them as needed. There's also the Mesh Manager, which allows you to connect these services together to form an event mesh. And the event mesh will allow you to federate data across your various environments, whether that's on-premise, in cloud, um, or even at the edge. And the final component of the event platform and this cloud console is Event Insights. This is the component that allows you to monitor your various services to determine if there are any queues that are filling up or anything else that you want, might want to be aware of on your service estate. Let's first go into the cluster manager. And in here, we can see the various services we have created. Currently, I have a service running in AWS and in Azure. Let's see how we can create a new service. There are two types. There's a developer service, which is a standalone broker, great for getting started, getting your applications connected, and seeing the general behavior of your applications on the broker. An enterprise service is a highly available service deployed based off of a couple of different variables, including the number of concurrent TCP connections you expect to have on this service, as well as messaging storage when you're looking at guaranteed delivery of data, this is the amount of storage you would like to provide your services with. Once you set these key variables, the next component is selecting your cloud. Uh, the three public, big public cloud providers are available, but we can also deploy in private cloud. And this can either be in customer VPC or VNet, or it can even be in an on-premise environment, treating your on-premise estate as if it were in the cloud. Once you choose your cloud, you're going to click on the map to choose the region that you would like to deploy the service in. Click OK. You can choose the version of the broker that you'd like to deploy and then give your broker a name. Once you're done there, you can click Start Service and in the background, Solace Cloud will be provisioning that service for you. Let's say we would like to connect these two services together to form an event mesh. This is where the Mesh Manager comes into play. We're going to go to our Mesh Manager, and we're going to create a new Mesh. Once we're on the screen, we're going to give our Mesh a name and then add a service to that Mesh. So I'm going to add my AWS service as well as my Azure service. Here we can define uh, who the initiating service is to create this event mesh connection. I'm going to leave it as the default and click Add Service. If we had other services we wanted to include in the mesh, we could also add them in at this time. Once done, you're going to click Create Mesh. And in the background, what's happening is those brokers are being configured with the necessary objects to connect them together and form the event mesh. The event mesh will be able to dynamically and in real time move data between these different nodes, uh, allowing your applications in different regions, clouds, or generally in different locations to communicate with each other across a publish subscribe layer. While our mesh is forming, I'm going to go back to our cluster manager. We're going to click on one of our services, and I can go to the connect tab at the top here. 
And then now I can see how my applications connect to this service based off of either protocol, or I can list these different options by specific language. If you view the connection options by protocol, we can see that Solus supports a couple of different protocols. We support REST or HTTP connectivity, MQTT applications, AMQP protocol, as well as WebSockets connections with our own Solus message format, SMF, as well as our own protocol, SMF, without WebSockets, uh, which is a protocol over TCP. Once you choose the protocol that you would like to connect to the service with, you can see all of the details for that connection listed out on this connect tab. So we've got a username and password, the host name for the service, and the port as well. These can be copied into your application and note that you can choose a variety of different protocols for your different applications and the Solus service will actually do dynamic protocol translation for you. So I could have a publisher using MQTT and a subscriber using uh, Solus message format, for example, with JMS. For this demo, let's use MQTT protocol and I'm going to use MQTTX application create a new connection to establish the MQTT connection to this service. So what we're going to do is copy some of these details from this page and import it into or paste it into our window here. Once you've got the connection details copied in, we're going to click connect and we can see we are connected successfully to the broker. I'm just going to minimize this for now and we'll come back to this window. Let's go to our event portal designer view. In event portal, we can create an application domain, which will help you organize your various applications and events that are passed between the applications. Here we can see an example for Acme Rideshare. If I zoom in here, we can see these smaller blue circles and these are identified as events or the data that's moving between applications. And then the double circles, the larger ones, are our applications. So here we can see there's a driver app, and if I double click on it, we can see information about this application. We can see who it was changed by, we can see what application domain it's a part of. We can also see the types of events that this application interacts with. So it's subscribed to a driver funds deposited event, as well as a driver ride requested event. In terms of publishing, it's publishing a driver ride accepted, driver status updated, and trip updated event. If I wanted to learn more information about these events, I can simply click on them from this window. And it brings up a window to show me similar information, uh, description, what application domain it's in, when it was created, as well as the topic address. With Solace, we use topics to route the information between publisher and subscriber. These topics are not objects on the broker. Um, it's actually a part of the message itself. So a publisher application publishes to an event that looks something like this, and a subscriber can use wildcards to define its interest in these specific tags or levels. So maybe as a consuming client, you're interested in Acme, Rideshare, Driver, um, and then you want everything from that point forward in this topic address. Let's say we're interested in the trip updated event. I can double click on it here and view similar information, so the topic address, application domain, and a description, as well as what applications are publishing or subscribing to this event. We can also search for this event in the catalog. So I'm gonna search for the keyword trip, and we can see the various events that match that keyword. And we'll also see that we have a match field of topic, name, as well as the description of this event matches my specific keyword. Trip updated, which is the one we are looking for, does come up in this search. So I'm going to click on it here and we can, again can see that same level of information. It's just another method of finding this data. So what we're going to do here is take a part of this topic address. We're going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my service here and go to the Try Me tab. Quickly connect an application to this service and we're going to subscribe to Acme Rideshare Trip. Click subscribe on that specific topic 
I'm gonna go back down to my MQTTX application here. And what we're gonna do is publish to that same topic. We're just going to add something like this so it will match what our subscription says. We're gonna send that message. You can see it's come up here just as a console note. But if we go back to our demo subscriber, we can see this hello world message was received. Because we have configured the event mesh between these two brokers, between AWS and Azure, not only can we subscribe to this data on the AWS broker, we can also actually subscribe to it on the Azure broker. We'll go to the Try Me tab, we'll click Connect, and again, we will subscribe to some data. Click Subscribe. I'm gonna go back to my MQTTX application, publish yet another event, and now we can also see it came in across to the Azure broker. Once I have applications connected onto my broker, I can use a discovery scan to run a scan on the broker and identify these various applications, the subscriptions they might have, as well as the topics that are being published onto the broker. This will help me update the event designer with the runtime applications that are currently connected to the service. The final piece of the event platform is Event Insights for monitoring your various services. I'm going to go straight into my Datadog dashboards, which are connected to by PubSub Plus Insights and being populated with various metrics and events that are occurring on the broker. So here are some of the dashboards we can drill into on a specific broker. For example, we can go into a queues overview and understand the traffic that's coming in on the queue how queues are doing in terms of are they filling up or are there consumers currently connected and various other metrics. This is a single place for operations teams to look to understand the general health of the broker as well as what applications may or may not be behaving as expected. So in summary, the Cloud Console is a single pane of glass for managing brokers, visualizing relationships between applications and understanding how the events are moving between those applications, and monitoring your broker estate. It is very simple to create a new service and manage it through Cloud Console's cluster manager, as well as create an event mesh using Mesh Manager. The Solus services support multiple protocols, including REST, MQTT, AMQP, JMS, and our own protocol called SMF. With this protocol support, there's also dynamic protocol translation. So as applications connect and publish into the broker, the broker will handle any protocol translations from publisher to consuming applications. The event management tool, PubSub Plus Event Portal, allows you to visualize the relationships, search for specific events or applications based off of the keyword, Discover what your current broker state looks like in terms of the various events moving across it, as well as expose events inter to internal and external consumers via event API products. And finally, uh, PubSub Plus Event Insights allows the operational ease of understanding current broker health, high-level metrics of each of those brokers, and view service configurations.